Be there in 11 minutes. Let's go get this money, guys. Work, 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 work. Not Rihanna voice. Probably won't record a thousand trips of Baldur's drywall, but it's a lot of trips of drywall carrying today. Everything must go, YouTube. Everything, everything, everything. <laughs> full of uh like wood scraps from a gate i'm making i don't know how much footage i'll get while i'm here but i'll try i got my bed completely empty right now this guy's got like drywall it's from a demo at a, at a house where i removed a big refrigerator and stove on friday that just passed now i'm going to do a full load for him uh, i'll try to get a little bit of pictures or footage while i'm here Be there in 11 minutes. Let's go get this money, guys. Work, 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 work. Not Rihanna voice. Okay, you two. Nice empty truck bed. Pretty empty. A bucket don't count. Always keep a bucket with me. I'm gonna probably put a tarp down first. Let me show you what we get to do today. It's a glorious, beautiful morning. So, our job consists of, look at this double bean. That's the old kind of beans when they were actually thicker. The new two by fours and everything are really one and a half by three and a half. A bunch of drywall, a whole bunch of drywall. Couple bags of stuff. Drop all, drop all, drop all. None of these sticks. Maybe a few just to be a good dude. And a lamp. He said he has 300 square feet of laminate flooring in the basement. Take all this to the landfill and do what we do. This thing's pretty heavy, but I can carry it. Okay. And then the truck's maybe like, I don't know, 60 or 70 feet away. Let's get a tarp out first. You might not be able to see it, but that's a Superman up there. That's what we do here at Junk and Grind. Grinding. Let's get it going.
Let's see how I can carry this big thing. Mm. Uh. Trying to hold this camera and carry this. Uh. Oh, puppy dog. We don't want any trouble, puppy dog. Ah, baby. Ah, puppy. Ah, baby. Let me put this down for a second. I don't want to hurt this dog by accident. This is a real good beam I'm holding. Hi, baby. The neighbors. I'm going to load this up and go get some more stuff. It's heavy. It's very heavy. Not good, not good, Baltimore, not good. See if this works better. It's a different angle. I have a tripod that I use, and this is like the head mount. So I've had people say, please stop using the tripod. Start using a head mount for first person point of view. And then I had people saying, please stop using the head mount and start using a different way, which would kind of be the tripod. <laughs> yeah, so basically, we're carrying a whole bunch of drywall out of this yard right now. A lot. I'm gonna get a bunch to the truck first and then start, uh, then get up in there and load it nice and tight and all. Yeah. Yeah, there was definitely paraphernalia on the ground back there. People using. We don't like that. That junk and grind. Probably won't record a thousand trips of all this drywall, but... It's a lot of trips of drywall carrying today. Everything must go, YouTube. Everything, everything, everything. <laughs> Beautiful day. Nice sunny day in Baltimore. Got a bucket. Make it take up a little less space. There we go. Glass, 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 glass. Baltimore City Property of Baltimore City Stop, 
starting to get a little built out here in the beautiful community. So we're over the Baltimore city line. It's kind of by, it's right by the county. Sometimes I call the county the city and the city the county by accident. Don't hit your face on this uh, awning or it'll hurt. We're getting progress, people, we're getting progress. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. me puppy don't bark at us puppy we don't want no trouble bro we like puppies at junk and grind Master Rack, Master Pack. Whoops. It's like Tyvek, sort of. Like Tyvek for housing. Let's get this up in there. Okay. A little tighter. You gotta build your loads tight, guys. Tetris, Tetris, Tetris. Tetris, Tetris, Tetris. It's getting hot, or I'm working and sweating. touching any of them tarps under there I might throw this in there just to be a good person then he's got a whole bunch of more stuff in the back told him I can come another day if you would like okay we still working on this slow so I got roughly half of it I don't know about that two by four right there two by three right there We got all these bags, some wood, broke up cabinet, Ikea looking. Bags, 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 bags. That stuff is like a really thick mortar on tile. And there wasn't supposed to be any concrete or mortar or brick. It makes it a lot more heavy at the dump. Ah.
Okay, there we go. Just busted open. I gotta clean up a little bit of concrete and mortar tile. Yeah, so we discussed no concrete. This might be even that old asbestos Baltimore City has in it. We did a roof somewhere where we tore the old ones off. You're not supposed to breathe this in, obviously. I'm trying to stay away, but long story short, it's like heavy mortar concrete. It's very heavy. It weighs a lot. So when you take it to the landfill, it's just like brick and concrete and mortar. Um, a bag busted up there. I'm gonna have to go clean it all up. That won't take too long, but it's just a headache. Part of the job. Part of the job. Not bad. We're making great progress, guys. There's not much metal in this load. I pulled a few like old fans and stuff out. Do what I can. We're feeling good like we should, though. Ding. Something wrong, Baltimore. Reach out to a local realtors, property managers, contractors. We can clean up whatever you guys don't need in your location. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. There's a bunch more bags left. Okay, you two. I got this thing super packed. This is my last thing I'm throwing on here before I strap it up. Um he gave me two massive tarps he don't want they're literally so big i probably don't have a good use for them until i do like a giant leaf removal so he added a bunch of extra stuff like wood not too much i don't have to uh really sweep these little little particles up but got it out of there guys it was a lot it was a lot and then I might come back and do this yard clean up later, a different time. Sticks and trees and all this crap. A different time. Try and get every last little piece up I can. But not these real, real small pieces. And then we are going to strap the load up real good. And then we're heading to the landfill. Let's go. Man, this was a, so, it doesn't look like a lot on the truck, but it's a lot of, uh, that mortar tile or whatever, plaster, whatever you call it, meaning, things got some weight on it, guys. Okay, I'm gonna get out some tarp, strap this up good, and we're going to the landfill. Eastern Sanitary Landfill. 700 miles. <laughs> Starting route to Eastern Sanitary Landfill, ESL Solid Waste Management Facility. Okay, guys. Head northwest on Evergreen Avenue. We got then this baby right strapped on. on. And we're heading to the landfill. In roughly 25 minutes, we shall be there. That's a heavy load on here, boy. At the stop sign, turn right onto Hamlet Avenue. Then turn working. right onto Working, Avenue. working, working, working. Scrap and junk pirate. Okay, I'll get footage when we get there. That's a cool little kid's rack or whatever. We're in a messed up little area. It ain't the worst. We're on the outskirts of this. We are in the city. Uh, Harford Road, way down Harford Road. Turn right onto White Avenue. Then at the next one, turn right. At the light, use the right lane to turn on today's Cove Road. Okay, guys, we are approaching the landfill. Oh. So 
we're going to the landfill right now. Turn right onto landfill home road. Let's go throw this crap out. I just went right around a U-Haul behind me and they made a right. Like they were turning, but they didn't put on a blinker or nothing until I was already on their side. Woo! Pay attention out there. Pay attention out there. Yes, that was my fault, but they should have put a blinker on. I would have known. quarter mile all the way up this huge hill way over there somewhere I want one of these Isuzu so bad sheesh I want one of those that's what I'm saving for man just need about $97,000 and I can get one eagle sitting on this green thing it's a fence the whole length the top has probably like at least about eight of them on there actual bald eagles I think male and female because some of them don't have white heads obviously they're all brown and then some do have the white heads some of them ain't bald <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go back in there and then get footage. We made it up top the hill. Dun, dun, dun. Sheesh. Okay, we made it up top. I gotta go around all these people and then go dump, guys. So, this is a big old talk the man gave me at the end. Got a lot to throw out here. A whole lot. a pretty heavy load actually. Take my time.
tarp is gigantic. This one and that gray one. They're like so big, I kind of don't want them. But I might keep them. right here has so much weight on it not good not good i'm gonna see if i can pull some metal out of this but i don't have time to like bust every single bag open 100 percent uh, i'm gonna throw all this out and get footage in a little bit Dokey guys, we got out of there. Now let's go see what the damage is. The damage is gonna be kind of rough. Mr. Seagulls, there's a whole bunch of people up here today. It's busy. Let me have them refrigerators. You guys don't need them, I need them. <laughs> Look at all the birds. The crows are over here, a ton of them, and then there's all seagulls over there. A bunch of little guys up top. Let's go get on the scale. Back on the scale. I'm not going to record paying them, but we're almost done. It's hot. It's not hot. I'm just sweating. I'm working. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the end of our trip. That was a very heavy load. That was, um, 750 pounds. No, 1250 or something like that. Over a thousand. Three quarters of it. 1500 pounds. I'm sorry. It was 1500 pounds. Right around there. <laughs> so close to three quarters of a ton. Something like that. On to the next one. I got a little metal left over and two big old tarps back there. I'm gonna keep them tarps. They would be great for leaf removals. Everything must go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.